Is that shine even on? I don't know. I hope so. Alright, wait. Yeah, it's on. Hello my little old babies and welcome back to another video. On today's video, we are going to be talking about where I got the passion of becoming a director myself. And I'm going to tell you how I was behind the scenes of World War Z. So we're just going to shimmy over here. Like so. Back in the 17th of August 2011, they started shooting the first scene of World War Z. So since the class I was in, Mr. Shark, since I can't actually use the full name, and by the way, congratulations to Mr. Shark on having Baby Shark. So adorable. Before I get more distracted than I already am, Mr. Shark's class was a news presenting class slash filming class, and our school slash our class got invited to go behind the scenes of World War C. I believe it was five schools that got picked to go behind the scenes of World War Z, and gladly my class and school were invited to go along. So we started interviewing the person who was taking us around, showing us different parts of the movie it was going to be shown. We also interviewed one of the zombies. So we interviewed this zombie right here and I can still remember him to this day just smiling at us and just being so patient enough to answer all our questions. And the next zombie was this zombie. <laughs> like honestly, these people had so much patience for preteen kids asking them questions. <laughs> so as we were interviewing people, actors, this class went off and we had to go and hide. And this was the area that we had to hide. So the lady who was taking us around said to us to, like, hide and crouch down. There was my little head poking out at the side of this truck because I was so fascinated. The woman seen me never said anything. For anybody who wants to hear the sound that I heard on the day, this is it. Sorry, headphone users. I just want to say thank you, Mr. Sharp, for sparking that little flame of wanting to be a director. But he wasn't the only teacher ins inspired that little. Mr. Stingray was my English teacher slash media teacher. And the big thing that we focused on in the media class was, as you guessed it, movies and the stories behind it and what it means. So the movies that we watched were Stand By Me, My Girl, that are coming of age movies. The other movies that we watched were fairy tale movies such as The Labyrinth and The Never End Story. For some of you who may know, I do have the stuffed animal of folklore. We also watched the animations. This was like a first year in school and that was the Sandman, this gave me nightmares for three weeks. Thanks, Mr. Stingray. <laughs> we also watched mythological slash fairy tale movies like The Lost Boys. This movie gave me nosebleeds for two days straight. But we did do filming, and that was at Christmas and it was your school's talent show and the BBC. Yes, I'm talking about that BBC. They came to film it and guess who one of the camera people were who was choose to do it? Yes, you answered correctly, it was me. This is young Orby right here. Honestly, I enjoyed the day so much because it is a big opportunity 
to film with the BBC's cameras, like it meant so much. So, Mr. Stingray, if somehow you watched us, thank you so much for giving me that opportunity. But honestly, I know I've said thank you more than once in this video. But thank you, Mr. Shark and Mr. Stingray, for giving me the big opportunities. It meant so much to me then than it does now. If it wasn't for the opportunities, I wouldn't be making videos just now. Filming is a passion for me. So, thank you. Also, we do have a Discord if anybody wants to come and join, but please be over the age of 18. I can't control everybody in the chat. The links are down below, and so is my Instagram as well, so if you want to go and talk to me there, or on Discord, please do. Remember, if you liked any of the contact, contact, content, <laughs> here we go, doing that entire video, <laughs> this is when I screw up. Oh, I could never be an actor. I screwed up my lines as, as just now. But if you like this type of content, please give it a big thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed it or want to know or see things on my channel. Also, if you think I'm worthy for a subscribe, please do. And as I said, if it's anything to do with me personally and you want to get in touch with me, my Discord and my Instagram is linked down below. And remember, stay orbsome and always believe in your dreams. And remember, space is just up there and it's a big enough space for you to dream big. And remember, Mama loves you. Mwah. Bye bye. Peace out, everyone. Ta ta. Ta ta da da da. That's all, folks.